What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to slap just like Ryan Martini. So I've been getting tons of requests to do a video on Ryan Martini. I've never seen anyone play the bass like him and his one of a kind technique makes him super unique. Ryan Martini is from the bands Mudvayne and Soften the Glare. It's funny to see him without the makeup when he's playing with Mudvayne in the videos you might remember back in the day, but Soften the Glare, a newer project of him, is super progressive and still heavy and really showcases his technique. I am blown away by that. <laughs> the special thing about Ryan Martini is he inspired millions of people to play bass. With Mudvayne, his bass lines were super prominent and really, really stuck out to people who had never really paid attention to the bass before. See everybody When it comes to dissecting his technique, it starts with the instrument he's playing. He plays Warwick. I have a Warwick right now, a Corvette, a standard, and he has tons of their basses. Warwick has a one-of-a-kind sound too as a bass. Another special thing that I noticed when I was studying him was his tuning. He does drop D tuning, so if we had E A D G, we have D A D G, but on the fifth string, he drops that B down to a low A. So the tuning is A D A D G. His tuning is essential to his approach of his technique. So I've watched many interviews with him, and I was trying to find a name for this technique of which he does. He just simply called it a struck note. So the basis of all the techniques he uses is just the single struck note. It feels like aggressive finger style, but he places his thumb on the fretboard and has a kind of diagonal approach with a severely aggressive attack. The cool thing about this is where he strikes it with his finger affects the timbre of it. You might get some harmonics, some overtones from the placement of the finger. Where this really is amplified is when you incorporate the second finger. So we're gonna call this the double struck note. You can hear a lot of those overtones and harmonics with the octave. And that open D, drop D octave shape makes it really playable as opposed to keeping your instrument in standard tuning. Another thing about this open key is it makes it really easy for pull-offs. I noticed he always, always uses pull-offs when playing that drop D double struck note. So if we keep adding notes, then we can do chordal struck notes. Chords are of course two notes or more, but we focused on just the two fingers for the double struck note. Now if we build chords with it, we have to use three fingers. So it's pretty cool. You definitely gotta build up some strength in this finger and Akashi to attack that. But he does tons of chords with that struck note technique. And that's really essentially the core technique of Ryan Martini. Other slap bass techniques that he uses is definitely that flamenco style. Les Claypool does it a lot where you strike with your right hand through the strings to create a dead note. That's a cool way of adding some percussiveness to your playing. He does a lot of basic dead notes with just the struck notes, just kind of tapping and muting. Another bass concept is he likes to fret notes with his left hand. I call this left hand fretting, which simply means you use the power of the left hand to create a note, 
then follow it by whatever technique you want to do. Other textural elements are, of course, slides, basic slap and pop. Of course, he's just doing traditional slapping. What makes him really unique is the struck notes and combining the fingers with that, making it chordal, single notes, the muting and the percussiveness involved. That is the secret behind Ryan Martini's technique. All right, guys, if you like that, please give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more bass content. Tons of stuff on the way on BassFreedom.com, my website. I have tons of courses, educational content, free lessons, you name it. Head there if you want to check out a way to potentially level up your bass game. Follow me on all the socials if you want to see more posting. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.